In this fourth lesson in our series on Visio connectors, we are going to look at adding multiple labels to one connector. Is that even a thing? Can you even do that? Well, yes, it's a thing. It's a thing unlike my mustache, which went away. If you've seen the first part of the series, I had a mustache and now it's gone because it's no longer Movember. Speaking of, if you haven't subscribed already, don't start with the fourth lesson, start with the first one, and to get notified about these series and all the other series in this channel, please subscribe. It really helps out. It's a win-win. It helps me keep making them, and it helps you with free tips and tricks on the apps that you use most. All right, let's get started. One of the things that several people notice when they're working with Visio is a limitation that's built in, and that is that you cannot add multiple labels to a connector. Well, that's the case. I mean, that's that's baked into the code of the application. But I'm going to show you in this lesson a workaround you can use and a hack you can use where you use another shape that lives in another stencil that's not very commonly used unless you have a specific purpose to go find this stencil. And you can work around the limitation of not being able to add multiple connectors. So to show you what I'm talking about first, let's select the connector tool, connect these two shapes. And let's say that I want to just add two labels. I want to add start and finish, just something simple like that. So with the connector still selected, I can do finish, hit escape, and there you go. I'll make the text a little bit bigger. And then of course you can move that if you want to, but you can see that as I go back to my pointer tool, that there's no way to duplicate the text that's in this connector. So I can move the shape and this works pretty elegantly, but Again, the limitation is that I can't add a second connector. So the workaround is either to not use a label here and or use this text tool, draw another text box, add another label. So start there. And then, of course, I can increase the font like so. I'll hit escape and then I can reposition this as I see fit, and so it kind of matches what I have here. Now again, this would probably look a little bit better from a design standpoint if I just didn't use a label on this one and then created two text boxes. But I think you can quickly get the idea here that you can now, however you choose to do it, you can select multiple things if you want to. And now with both of these things selected, I can move these in tandem with one another. Of course, again, this will work better if you just had two separate text boxes. Because what I've done here by selecting the connector and then moving it independently is I've broken the glue relationship between the two shapes. But that's okay because we don't need this here anyway as I show you the hack for making this happen. And the hack will have you navigate over here to your shapes panel. And then under more shapes, you want to choose the software and database and then in the software grouping, choose the UML class. Now I've already previously selected it, so it appears here in my quick pick list. So I can choose UML class and I can use an association connector, an association shape. Now it's not really obvious what this would do right off the bat, but what I can do is I can connect this, I can glue this to a shape, and then I can take this other side, this other end, and glue it to that shape right there. So it works just like using any other connector, but it just works like a shape. I just put the shape onto the stencil, and then I can use the endpoints and make this a dynamic connection. Now if I select this, I can move it around and notice the relationship between the two shapes stays intact. So that's step one of adding the multiple connector labels. Step two is this. I'm going to select the connector, give it a right click, and then I will show multiplicity. Now this is just a specific property of this particular shape, and this is the hack that you can use. So I can select either of these labels, and again, for the purposes of, the, of this hack, it's not really important to fully explain why these things are here, what the purpose is. You just want to make a second label. So I just select, start typing, start, and then there we go. And I'll go up here and I'll make the font a little bit bigger so we can easily see. This one I'll select, I'll select finish or I'll type in finish, hit escape. 
and do the same thing with the font adjustments. Of course, I could select them both independently uh, and do that in a separate step. What I can also do is move these items fairly easily. So I can move them to the side, I can move them on top of the connector. So it's a really kind of nice way to reposition the labels. These other ones that exist, again, you can fill them in, you can replace the text, you can just delete them if you want to. So just select and delete, and now I've got multiple connector labels. And what's cool about this is that with this hack, I can move the shapes around, and you can see that no matter how I move things, that the labels are still attached to the connector. Now before we go, if you're curious about what UML stands for, it stands for Unified Modeling Language and it's a specification that helps developers or helps document software processes and dependencies for software development documentation. So you might use it if you are doing a UML diagram, something like this, but you also can have a wide range of uses for multiple connector labels in lots of other Visio drawings.